Hi, I'm Beck, and food's my life. In today's video, I'm going to make a sweet little confectionery treat, and it's coming right up. So today I'm making coconut ice. This is my mum's famous recipe. She has made this since I was a little girl. She makes it for everybody in the family and everybody asks for Annie Michelle's coconut ice. Mum actually calls this coconut rock um, and that's what she used to call it in Sri Lanka. But we know it as coconut ice and this particular recipe is one like no other. I guarantee when you try this coconut ice, it will set it apart from any other you have tasted. It's easy to make. Let me show you how. So I have my pan on a medium heat and in here I've got four cups of white sugar. To this I'm going to add one cup of water. Now we're going to stir this through and we're going to keep stirring until the sugar is completely dissolved. Okay so my sugar is well and truly melted and it's even started to come to a slight boil. So now we're ready to add the coconut to the pan. So here we have 250 grams of desiccated coconut, so stir that in. And just for added texture, I've also got half a cup of shredded coconut, so add that in as well. Okay, now that that's all mixed in, I'm going to add some flavourings. So, so that's one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Half a teaspoon of almond essence. Half a teaspoon of rose water. And half a teaspoon of coconut essence. So these are the flavors that make your coconut extra special. Because without these little touches, coconut ice is really just coconut and sugar. Okay, time to add some color. So of course you can make your coconut ice any color you like, but traditionally it's pink. So I'm just going to put a couple of drops of pink colour in there. To your liking, of course, you can have it as bright or as mild as you like. Now for one more little indulgent ingredient that makes this all the better. We're going to put two generous teaspoons of butter into our mixture and stir to melt that through. So I've kept stirring until now it's reached that soft ball temperature that soft ball stage, so about 120 degrees, and now it's time to take it off the heat. Okay, so now I'm taking my coconut ice over to my board. I've greased this with some butter. So now what we have to do is pour this onto the board. And we need to just help it along, flatten it slightly. So I'm happy with the thickness of my coconut ice now. So using my spatula, I'm just going to go and sort of tidy up the edges. Okay, I'm really happy with the way my coconut ice is looking at this stage. Now it was really important back then on the stove to take it off at the right time because if you overcook it, it's going to be dry. And we don't want that, we want it to be you know, hard coconut ice, but with a little bit of moisture in it too. It's a little bit of a, a bit of a chew to it when you eat it. So keep an eye on it in the pan when it's leaving the sides of the pan, and like I said before, when it's that soft ball temperature. If you're using the, the thermometer, so around about 115 to 120 degrees is perfect. You can take it off at that stage. I find coconut ice is one of those things that I like to make to give away as gifts especially for teachers as thank you gifts or Christmas time. It makes a really clever little homemade gift idea. Another thing I like to use it for is baby showers. You can color it either way, pink or blue. It's up to you, but it's one of those things that I think uh, it's a nice little confectionery treat. Something you always see at fates and, and markets and it, it reminds me of my childhood. Mum has been making coconut ice ever since I was a little girl. so. This particular recipe is something I'm going to cherish forever because it is really unlike no other coconut ice recipe. All those little flavorings and those ingredients that mum adds to this is what makes it really special and quite unique. So now give that a couple of hours and it'll be nice and hard and you're ready to go ahead and chop that into little pieces. Now that you can see how simple that was, it's time for you to give this a go for yourself. Why don't you check out the description box below 
find the link to my website, find this recipe and make it for yourself. You're going to absolutely love it. Don't forget to like my videos, share my videos, or better still, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you next time.